as we can just simply understand that by using the same two methods we are able to generate many different sort of shapes okay now I'm going to answer one of the questions actually two of those questions what I have asked in the different exam papers the first thing is about that picture which has the pencils and the pencil case and a piece of paper with the text written on it now I'm just going to build for it because I'm just going to build something small in size I'm supposed to recheck my old setup. First, it is in centimeter, that's okay. You tell us this to change to centimeter? Or? Up to you. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to force you to do anything in the exam. If you need, you will do that. The grid spacing, what I will use in here is one centimeter is the spacing of the grids. And I'm going to have the major lines in every 10 boxes. And I want to see 20 boxes in every direction. Okay, so this is the viewport of mine. I just increased the perspective viewport by Alt W. Now I'm just going to see from the top. Okay, I'm just going to see from the perspective. I will draw just uh, a box down in here just to be sure about what I'm doing. Okay, I got to zoom in. Okay, now what I will do for this box is I will just assign uh, some values for it. Okay, those values, the first one, I'm just going to draw the pencil. You can just start drawing from the pencil case or pencil holder as well, but I prefer to draw from the pencil. So, what I will do is I'm just going to modify this uh, box accordingly having one centimeter to height. Uh, let's say uh, seven centimeter the width and the height I'm going to consider the pencil what I'm going to draw will be around 12 centimeter the height 12 centimeter the height so I'm just going to write in here 12 centimeter after I have assigned these values now what I'm going to do I'm just going to place it to the origin point so uh, I'm just going to set them all zero okay W here is zero and here is zero and here is zero come on okay zero the problem is actually it's not in the center because it is 12 having the pivot point in the center so if the length is 12 I must move it six sorry not the X okay here is six here is six and it is seven centimeters so half of the seven is 3.5 so now here it is at the center actually that wasn't a matter for me uh, but I, I prefer in this way what I'm going to do now I'm just supposed to draw the parts of that pencil according to that pencil what I had drawn it was having a circular actually sharpened beginning then it's going as a circle after it reached a circle point onto the point then it was turning into hexagonal shape means that having six sides okay and grows as a hexagon then it will have uh, a circle for the eraser part and a smooth circle ending so what I'm going to do for it I'm just going to start from um, circle this circle what I'm going to draw will be used for different reasons uh, I'm just going to draw only one circle that circle is going to have a uh, one centimeter the diameter okay one centimeter diameter is so huge that means that the radius is two centimeter I'm just going to give 0 0.5 oops 0 0.5 if the radius is 0 0.5 that means that the diameter is one okay this is a good thickness for my practice in here uh, and then after I draw my circle I'm just going to draw and go and go means that how many sides you want to draw you can just simple draw I'm just going to draw it like that after I draw my and go I can just decide the radius the radius will be the same radius as the circle has so it is 0 0.5 and 
it has six sides I can increase or decrease the sides but the six side is the side what I'm preferring to have and for just a better look I'm just going to run them a little bit but if you run that so much so it will be looks like a circle again okay so here's my angle and the final thing is I'm just going to draw my um, line that line is going to be my pencil so what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a line because I want to create a line in a straight path I turn the snapping tool on then I just simply click here once I drag the mouse up in here I click second time then I make a right click so the line has drawn in here but because it is just passing on a grid line we are not able to see it that's not a problem for us while the line is selected here I can see that the line is active and selected I'm just clicking on the create geometry compound objects and the loft okay so the loft is ready to be built what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first of all get the circle shape for the beginning okay then I want that the circling will continue up until 1.5 centimeters so sharpened area will be around 1.5 centimeters so from here from the distance I'm just going to write in here 1.5 and when here is 1.5 I'm just going to get again a circle shape right after that 1.5 area I want it to start turning into uh, the, that hexagonal shape I'm just making one more area in here 1.6 for one more get shape then after this 1.6 1.7 is going to be this hexagonal shape okay now it turned into that hexagon shape but I don't want it to continue up until the top I want there a sort of eraser at the top okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go up until okay I'm just going to make a circle area at the top two centimeter area my my pencil was 12 centimeter the size so I write in here 10 and at the 10 actually okay at the 10 I again get this shape okay again hexagon and 10.1 10.1 now I get this circle shape the reason why I am making like this is for example at 1 centimeter you have hexagon and at 10 centimeter you have circle that makes that hexagon to turn into circle in between 1 centimeter to 10 centimeter it slowly slowly turns into that shape but if you want a sharp change so your hexagon in here for example hexagon was at the 10 centimeter and the circle is just 10.1 centimeter just one millimeter above it so the change will be a sharp change the change will be a sharp change okay now here it is I have uh, the circle shape at 10.1 uh, I'm just going to uh, write in here 10 point uh, let's say 3 one more get shape then 10.5 one more get shape I will show you that why I'm making like that and 10.7 one more get shape these are going to be the squeezed areas of the pencil and 11 11 will be get shape this and finally the 12 finally the 12 will be the get shape this now I have set all the parts of the pencil 
Now I'm just going to get in the tails and I will shape it more. So after these all are cleared, I'm just coming to the modify section. When I'm in the modify section, I will just make everything to get disappear and I will just make my object to appear fine. Now I'm just zooming in. Okay, this is my pencil now. Let, my, let me just make the adjustments. So I select, okay, I select the loft, I select the shape, but which shape? Actually, I'm just, not the path, sorry, shape. I'm just going to select this shape, the shape which is at the bottom, at the first, okay? And then I'm just going to transform it into sharpened, okay? So I just make it to be reduced. So what happened? Now my pencil get sharpened. Clear? Okay, this was the first thing. Let us see what we have done so far. This is the sharpened pencil. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay. And there's nothing I will do for the base because it's going as hexagon to the top, as you see. I will just change something in here. I will just click the shape. I will just click this shape not this one okay I will just click this shape and I will just squeeze it a little bit inside so that will be the passing area of the pencil sorry the, of the eraser not in here I'm just going to select okay I'm just click the loft and let me see okay this is the top one this is the bottom one okay that's good I will make like this only one squeeze and I will just bring it to the top at the top I want it to be have a smoother uh, let's say eraser look so while this shape is selected it's green in color now I'm just going to select this shape and I will just squeeze it a little bit inside or let me make okay I, I will let make it something like that actually if I just make it there as I said it is making smoother from the base so I will add one more pad there here's the loft uh, I'm just going to bring in here 11 come on I'm just going to write in here 11.7 11.7 and I'm just going to get this shape for one more time okay so 11.7 is again a circle shape but the last shape at 12 I'm just going to come on the last shape which is at 12 I'm just going to squeeze it okay so now what we have done so far is our pencil okay so this is a good pencil. Hooray! We we didn't squeeze from the sides. Now we will squeeze it from the sides too. Okay, it is from the front. Zoom in. Okay, from the front look. Zoom in. So I'm just going to select this shape. That's a good practice to see your object from different angles. I select this shape, the first shape. I'm going to squeeze it from this end too. So now if I see from the top, zoom in, okay, this is the pencil, and I'm now looking at it from different looking angles, and that, that looks okay. Again, we have the same problem for the eraser, it has been transformed from only two sides. I'm going to see from the back, okay, and I will just zoom in and again I will just select the shape and I select this shape and I will just squeeze it this way okay that's very well done okay zoom in and that is our pencil what I will do now is actually I in that picture there were four or five different pictures I will make them now and I first of all delete 
uh, these unnecessary stuffs. Okay, it end gone has gone, the line has gone, the box will be needed, but the circle has gone. Okay, so this is one of my shape. What I will do is I will just duplicate them. Let's say five, four copies. Okay. And after I make them four copies, then I'm just changing their colors. Okay, this will be this yellowish color. This will be, okay, come back. Okay, red in color. And this will be, let's say, uh, purple. Okay, one is the black. Okay, this will be the black. Okay, so we have all those colors. What to left is the pencil holder. The pencil holder is actually a loft shape. Sorry, a letty shape. So I'm just going to see from the top. I just got zoom in and here are the pencils ready to be placed. I'm just going to turn the box on. Okay? According to that box, I want it to be a bubbled beginning, squeezed neck and again grown sides. Okay? So what I will do is actually I will just create here the splines and the line. And now I'm just going to start from this corner. Here's the first place and the second place. Huh, okay, we can make it, but... Uh, okay, I will just make it. I, I cancel drawing the line. Okay, let me delete the line. Okay. Come on. Okay, line has gone. If you want to see the grids of this, I select it and now I'm pushing it backward. If, if I reduce, actually now I'm looking from the top, look. If I reduce the Z value something minus, let's say minus one. Okay, because it has a sort of height, that's why it's going to be minus, let's say 10. Now I can see the grids, okay? Now the grids are there. I'm going to draw the line now again. I select this corner here. Oops. If you click and drag, it makes this. Okay, that's not the thing what we want. Okay, I'm just going to delete it. You just need to simply click for once. Okay, I click in here once, then here, then here, and here and here, here okay it doesn't we will make for one more thing one, one. so nice <laughs> okay here's the line here is the line okay once why not now I'm making how many minutes does it take with the explanations of mind drawing? We will see that now. I will just show you the recording after we finish. How many minutes does it take? After I draw the lines like that, I do not need the box anymore. I do not need the box anymore. That's why I'm just going to select the box and just delete it. So here is going to be my uh, the pencil holder, I click the modify section and from here I turn the vertexes on and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply select these vertexes and because I want a smoother shape, I'm just going to make them flat. Okay, and here too. Okay, so that's all okay for our need. What I will do, I click the line I click the uh, create section from here the uh, sorry I'm making the wrong one here's the line after the line is selected I'm just going to write in here letty and the letty will just have the wheeled core flip the normals and the minimum so here is our pencil holder okay in the exam, I will do the same thing. If you are close to my drawing, it's not supposed to be same as the drawing is. That's why I will just give you the mark. Clear?
if you are close to that, that's okay. Uh, but I'm just going to make this line to become a little bit narrower because I don't like this thickness. I'm just going to select the vertexes and I will just push them a little bit inside like this so my, my pencil holder will be a little bit narrower. That, that's more I like to. So, I'm just going to see from the perspective look, and here it is. They are all in here. What is left is I just need to flip it up so it will be standing on the ground. I will just select the rotate tool. I will just rotate it a little bit. And after I rotate, I will just check which one is changing. This one is changing. So I will just click here, 90. Then after I have generated I'm just going to bring it in here from the front look okay it should be touching the ground that's why it's something like that and then I'm just going to see from the top look that's all okay from the perspective look I'm just going to select now those loft bodies one two three four and five of the objects I'm just going to select uh, the last four because last four should be inside the pencil holder. I'm just going to click them and rotate them. Okay? And then I will just see from the top look. I will just bring them to their places. Okay. Let's say that the yellow one will be in here. The or the purple one will be in here, the black one will be in here, and there is one more. There is one more in here that is in here. I'm seeing from the left look now. I select them all. After I select them all, I'm just rising them up. Okay? So from the front look, they are all looks like just. They, they all look like just standing, but they should be fallen to the sides, am I right? So I'm just going to select one of them, okay? Then I will just simply rotate it a little bit. And I will select this and I will just simply rotate it in another direction. And this one is here and this one is here. Something like that. But after I rotate them, I must be sure that none of the parts get out from the pencil holder. Okay, so none of the parts are gets out from the pencil holder. That's all okay. Now what left is just putting a paper and putting the pencil just on it and we will just see those scratches. Okay, I'm just going to bring them in here. After I brought them in here, I'm just going to create uh, not the box. Now, in here we have plane. I'm just going to create a plane, and that is this plane. Okay, and this plane should have a white in color because that is a, a drawing paper. So here's the white. Okay, and eventually I need those scratches, those drawings on it. But I want this pencil to be tilted a little bit. I will make it too. Here it is, and I will just push it somewhere here. Okay, the last thing is just those scratches. I will just go for the top loop, okay, and I will just take them. You haven't learned the rigid bodies yet. That's why it's no problem if the one pencil is inside the other pencil. I'm not going to look for them. I will just look for the general look. Okay? Perspective. Okay. Now I will just make those scratches. I will just draw two, three. I select the line. Sorry, I select the crate. Then the, uh, the shapes. 
splines and the line I'm just going to create a written text like this okay whatever a simple drawing after I made this drawing I select the vertexes of it okay because uh, the plane is white we are not seeing it well now I select the vertexes of it after I select their all vertexes I'm just going to make fillet it will be more like a scratch drawing and I will just change its color into the black okay that's all and let me turn the paper on and now I'm just going to see from the perspective look zoom in and here's the drawing okay if I just simply close the grid lines that is as it's in the exam paper and I have built this shape with explanations in 25 26 minutes what I'm going to give you one hour one hour? yeah okay two two lesson timings okay two lesson timings and as you see from here as, as you see from here that's not a big issue if you know which technique you will use in where okay so let me just okay let us just give a break and after the break we will draw for the new <laughs> so I'm just going to reset the viewport and everything I'm not going to save it okay yes now I'm going to build a table because I'm going to build a table I must change my environment according to the size of that table so uh, because of that reason I'm just going to right click on the snipping tools and from the home grids I'm going to set the snipping tool I'm going to set the snipping tool to be uh, let's say 10 centimeter no problem no problem that is just for seeing and aligning the stuff I'm just going to have the uh, spacing as the 10 centimeter and that will be the major lines and after each 10 boxes that means that after every one meter and I'm just going to have uh, 30 boxes in every direction okay so I'm going to start from the legs of the draw of that table okay so from here I'm just going to draw a box and as I have done always I'm just going to decide the dimensions of this box this box is going to have 0.1 centimeter the height because height is not a matter for us and what I do care is the length in here the length is going to be the height of the table so 25 centimeters the height of the table I'm, I'm just going to make a restaurant look that's why I need the table almost 70 centimeters up okay I'm just going to make it uh, okay 75 centimeters the length and the width I need the width that is the circular width at most wider area is going to be the 10 centimeter and as you remember that I need to define the half of it so I'm just going to write in here 5 so this is going to be the lag pattern so I'm just going to see the object from the top loop and now I have zoom in what I will do is I will just take this box somewhere here so I can simply and easily draw something around it okay I'm just going to bring it in here and up in here then I will just make the detail arrangements in here that that is going to be a 75 centimeter half of the 75 okay church 7.5 
and uh, that is 5 centimeter the weight half of the 5 is 2.5 that's okay now it's positioned what I will do now in here is what I will do now in here is I will just draw a pattern for the leg of the table but once I turn the snipping tool on I am not able to draw the line on this box that's okay I do not care about it I will first of all draw outside of the box and I will drag them inside okay so I'm just going to start drawing the lines from the crate shapes and the line now I just click on this corner once second okay um, third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and the tenth okay now actually we have drawn the line because of the grid problem now we are not able to see that if I just control uh, here if I write control G I will disable the grids and actually the line is there but I need the grids on okay so what I will do now is I will just select the line while the line is selected I'm going to select and modify from the modify section I select the vertexes now and what I will do is I will just now close the snipping tool I will just take these two vertexes and I will just bring them down in here according to the height of this box and what I want to do the second is I will just take this vertexes and I will just push them in okay we are not drawing some stuff according to the architectural drawings that's why I'm not considering does it exactly in that size in terms of centimeters or millimeters what we are looking is the general look okay after I have positioned my vertex is now in here I'm just going to push this vertex inside actually uh, if I let it stay outside the thickness of the leg will be so bold now I make them closer to the minimum so the circular shape will be tinier and uh, more realistic look okay now here I brought this point inside and this point okay I'm just going to select this point with this point the both of them I am dragging them together through inside now I select them all and I push them inside now what I will do I will just select these vertexes while these vertexes are selected, I'm just going to select the flat tool. Where is that? Here it is. Okay. Then I just flat them. Okay, that's the good. Now, after I flat them, I'm just going to select the line and I will just make the latte tool to be active. But here it is turning around the maximum position or the center, whatever. I'm just going to select the minimum. And I do not need actually these caps. I'm just turning them off. And I'm just going to wheel the core, flip the normal, and I, I want more circular look. That's why I'm just going to increase the segments into, let's say, 25 segments. So that is all. This is the leg of the table. Okay? What I want, uh, I want it more looks like a wooden look. That's why I'm just going to select the leg and I will just change the color into brownie, brownish color. Can't we just like the same one with pencil? pencil, pencil? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Not the pencil. Because pencil was having some parts circling, some parts having the sharp. Here you can use smaller circular. Okay, how you can make the hexagon? For the hexagon, if you are connecting some circular shape into some straight shapes, so you must use the loft. Or, for example, <coughs> if it is perfectly circling around, you can use the letting. 
if you are connecting a circling body with some straight bodies or you are going to connect that circling body with some multi-sided bodies so in those condi conditions you must use the loft tool for attaching them one after each okay so now I'm just going to see from the perspective look the problem is now the lag is on the ground I'm just going to flip it up I am just selecting this and I will just select to rotate I will just flip it a little bit then I'm just going to change this one into 90 now it's standing okay but it's not touching the ground so I should rise it up enough so it will touch the ground so I'm just going to click here the W okay then I will just rise it up but I may not able to understand whether it is touching or not from the perspective look so I just change the front look I'm just zooming in and then I will just drag it down in here okay something like this is quite okay for us now after I'm happy about this I'm just going to see from the top look now I'm seeing the shapes from the top look but I don't need this box anymore I don't need that box anymore what I will do now I will just put the legs of the table in some places okay so I'm going to see from the top look according to this look I'm just going to drag it down in here and I will just push it here okay here is good now I push it somewhere here how many boxes away it's four it's at the fourth box after my major line so I'm just going to drag the same one by shift and I will just position in here one before okay and I will say that I want one copy now I select these two now and it is the third one so I'm just going to drag it down down in here okay so now I have legs positioned so what I need next is the table the table is containing two uh, rectangles and in between there is oval oval okay so let me just build that shape for making that shape I create I click the create section from the shapes splines I select the rectangle and the rectangle what I want to draw is going to start one box out of the leg till the one box out of the leg that is the rectangle and for the ellipse I click the ellipse again that will have the same dimensions but it is going to have the elliptical look okay so now I have the rectangle and I have the ellipse what to do next is just make them together for making the top of the table okay let us build them so what I will do now is I will just draw one line in here that is just one line in here starting only one box size so one box was 10 centimeters I know it already so while this line is selected while this line is selected I select in here okay sorry I select in here create into geometry compound objects and the loft once I click the loft at the zero I'm going to get the rectangle shape okay and uh, I'm supposed to divide it somehow well that there are two parts there, there should be looks like three parts I'm going to make the lower part is going to be 2.5 okay let's say that uh, three centimeters okay and the first three centimeter in the first three centimeter I'm going to get again the rectangle shape yes rectangle because if I select the circle now that rectangle will change into circle but I don't want it I want a solid rectangle look 
at the base. So at 3, I'm just going to select again the rectangle. Then 3.1, now at the 3.1 I will get the oval shape, okay? And after that 3.1, I want that uh, oval shape to be have the 4 centimeter the thickness. So 3.4 plus 4, 7.1. So I get again this circle. Sorry. Okay. This circle. But I guess we have a problem. Let me just see from the top look. Yes, the problem is we have pick we have pick accidentally for the 3.1 again the rectangle. It should be circle. So what I will do is what I will do is I will just bring it in here. I, you can just travel in between the places. Now look, when I click the previous, now it came to zero. When I click the next, it came to 3.0. When I click the next, it's coming to 3.1. When it is 3.1, now I'm going to get the circle shape. Okay. After this 3.1, now I'm just going to make the 4 centimeter thickness. So that is 7.1. And again, I'm going to get this, this circle shape. Okay just one millimeter after that is 7.2 now I'm just going to get the rectangle shape and the top at the 10 centimeter I will again get the rectangle shape here it is so so far we have actually devil generate let's say a table top but the problem is when I see from the perspective look sorry okay I'm closing the snipping tool the tabletop is not in position so I need to tilt it by 90 degrees I'm just going to rotate it from here again the 90 degrees okay now it is there what I need to do is what I need to do is I'm just going to actually from the top look I will just make I will just try one thing I don't need that circular one now I'm just going to delete it but what I will do is I will just select my object what I have recently generated sorry and then from here align I'm going to align accordingly this rectangle okay I'm just going to align according with this rectangle and center center okay all the positions are centered that's okay now I bring it to the place where it should be just I need to rise it up so from the front look or from the left look now I'm at the left look I'm just going to drag this one up here okay Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, this is a good this is a good look. Okay. Then I don't need this one. I delete this one too. So from the perspective look, this is the table look. What I want is what I want is I want that table looks like a glass look. That's why I'm just changing it into a blue color that is just this blue huh. in the question I said that the top must be letting sorry the top must be loft I said in the exam for those students too if you have simply put the pieces on it I said that I'm not going to mark you. You need the shape, not how to create the shape. But that's a co uh, consideration. I, I just, I, I'm just asking you that. Don't make it. So you must find another way. 
Okay, so this is the shape what we have done so far. Uh, what I will do is I will just take this in a place which is here and then because I want to make the uh, restaurant look I will just no no I will just simply make it by shift I just drag it in here and I will just make it three copies up to you that's all optional and I'm here making two copies so here is the restaurant look okay so this was the question and let's see how long does it take